Today, we're pruning cucumbers. I'm gonna explain how to do it and why you should do it in your garden. Let's go. So when it comes to growing cucumbers, I know a lot of gardeners simply plant their plants and let them go. Hope for the best, right? But you could actually be potentially increasing their yields and increasing their overall health through pruning. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do it and why to do it. And we're gonna be using these awesome examples right here. Now we've been growing these cucumbers for about the past four months or so in our garden, and they've been growing up these cattle panel trellises. Now, certain ones are getting the idea a little more than, than others, but nevertheless, these are gonna serve as wonderful examples because there's a couple things going on here that I wanna highlight. So come in close and let's get pruning. All right, let's get pruning. So when it comes to pruning, there's a couple things that you're going to achieve here. One is better airflow. In our case here, these older plants are starting to succumb to things like fungal spot. Now, fungal spot can be like this brown spot here or powdery mildew. There's a lot of different fungal spots that can affect cucumbers and cucumbers are susceptible to fungal spot, especially in the later season when it's been as rainy as it's been or as hot and humid as it usually is. And so it's really common to get fungal spot. Now you can spray, we've been spraying pretty periodically just to make sure that we keep the fungal spot at bay, but eventually your plants will start to get it. And what you can do is you can actually start to prune out those lower leaves. They don't need them anymore because the plant has already grown up much taller than this. These lower leaves are simply, they're here to generate energy for the plant, yes, but once they're getting like this, they're not generating any energy at all. And you can actually prune them off even when they're healthy, believe it or not. You can take leaves that don't even really have any fungal spot yet and start to prune off those lower leaves just as you would prune, say, a tomato to increase that airflow. Because again, if you can get the plant to dry out, it's gonna reduce fungal spot. A lot of your fungus comes from the soil and splashes up on the leaves or it blows throughout the air and lands on the leaves. And here's the thing, the leaf, the surface of the cucumber leaf isn't doing you any favors and I'll explain why. So when it comes to a cucumber leaf, it's not doing you any favors. There's so much surface area on the leaf for things like fungus to colonize and what do they colonize? Not necessarily the surface of the leaf, but all of the fuzz and fibers on the surface of the leaf. Those fuzzes and fibers actually act as abrasive material that prevents things from eating it. Things like rabbits and deer don't wanna eat a bristly stem like that, and so they'll typically stay away. But if you're a fungus, you need lots of surface area. And so they colonize the surface of cucumber leaves, pumpkin leaves, squash leaves so much easier, and that's why pruning them out can actually be a huge benefit to cutting down on fungus. So I know you're probably asking yourself, how much should I be pruning off my cucumber plants? The answer is, there's not really a set amount you should be pruning. When it comes to pruning, you really have to prune as much as you need to. In our case here, because these plants are older and they're much taller, I could prune off a lot more. I could prune off a foot or two if I really wanted to. When they're smaller, you don't really need to prune your cucumber plants because they're smaller and that's usually gonna be earlier in the season when they're not gonna be suffering from things like like fungal spot or powdery mildew, rust and stuff like that. So obviously the time of season that you're pruning or thinking about pruning definitely kind of dictates how much you're gonna be pruning away, how large the plant is and stuff like that, um, as well as how severe the problem is too. I mean, like if the problem, like for us, it's been super rainy this year. Like I think this is one of our rainiest summers on record that I've seen and honestly, normally it's not this wet, uh, not this rainy, right? So when it's not wet all the time, I don't have to prune as much. This is just a bad year. So I'm gonna prune off probably a lot more than I normally would. So it's gonna vary from year to year, time of year, things like that. Just use this as a general rule of thumb that any time you can increase the airflow, you're gonna increase the overall health of the plant. Now, it's also gonna do another thing, which is help increase the amount of blossoms and fruit that get pollinated. The second benefit to pruning your cucumbers is better pollination. When it comes to having too much foliage, it might seem like a good thing, but it's actually a bad thing when it comes to cucumbers and other squash plants because pollinators can't see the flowers. These yellow flowers all over the plant are calling cards for pollinators. It's basically a calling sign that says, hey, I need to be pollinated. And because cucumbers don't have perfect flowers, they rely on a male and a female flower to do the birds and the bees. So this, this is a male flower. You'll notice there's nothing below it. It's just a flower. However, this is a female. And what you'll notice is it has a little itty bitty cucumber on it. 
it's so cute. But because this is not pollinated yet, what a bee will have to do is do the little bop, 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 and transfer the pollen from the male to the female flower in hopes that this will be successfully pollinated. And if the flower drops off and the fruit stays, it has been successfully pollinated and you get yourself a cucumber. And the third and final reason why you'd wanna prune your cucumbers is to not only increase the airflow, help the plants get pollinated by pollinators, but also help to just keep things cleaner. When it comes to how you trellis your cucumbers, it makes a big difference as to if you're gonna prune or not. And I'll show you kind of what I'm talking about, but in our case here, we don't really need to prune for cleanliness because we have a lot of real estate on our cattle panel trellis for them to climb, sprawl, and crawl and go crazy. If they're crawling on the ground, you can have lots of real estate for them to do that as well. But if you're growing them up a single stake, like a bamboo stake, or if you're growing them up a string, like in a greenhouse, sometimes it's really not uh, advantageous at all to have them sprawl and crawl and go crazy because it can be kind of messy. And so we're gonna come down to the very base of the cucumber plant to talk about what you can be doing. And in our case, we're not doing this, but you can if that is your trellising method of choice, and that is single stemming your cucumbers. So here's a wonderful example of kind of single stemming and why you'd wanna do that. When the cucumbers are small, they can actually fork much like a tomato can and form other separate plants from the same main plant. You see over here, there's a main stem. And this main stem, if you can see here, starts right here in the soil. And it grows along here, but then reaches a fork. And that fork creates one vine, two vines, as well as three vines. And that's what can really create a lot of a mess. And that's ultimately what creates that kind of tangled up mat of vines that a lot of people see with their cucumbers. Now, again, for us, I don't really care because they can sprawl and crawl and go crazy. It just means more cucumbers for me as long as I can keep them healthy. But if you're trellising them up a single post or a string, that is not clean whatsoever. It's going to be really hard to manage. And so in a lot of cases, what, uh, what growers will do is they will actually clip off and select just one vine. And they do that early on. Obviously, it'd be way too late to select that vine now because I don't even know where it goes. But in the early season, it's very simple to see that split, pick one of two, you know, one of three splits, prune out the rest and select just one to continue growing up that string. And that's gonna help you to have a much cleaner plant in the long run. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you all learned something new. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video with someone who's growing cucumbers and thinks they may benefit. Also, comment down below if you learned something. I always love knowing what you learned. And um, I hope you guys are growing cucumbers too, because it's been a good year for cucumbers. So I'll catch you all on the next episode. As always, this is Luke from the My Gardener channel, reminding you to grow bigger. Take care.